Marco from All the Spirit Activists and welcome to my church! In my apartment, in my community house. This is where my church meets. And here are seven reasons why house churches are awesome. Number one, they're biblical. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 19, Colossians 4 15 and Philemon 1 2 all have one thing in common and that is house churches. In fact, the early Christians met in homes for hundreds of years. The first church being digged out archaeologically is the church in Dura Eropos in Syria and it's a house church. People actually live there. The first churches that we know of where people didn't eat and sleep as a family they were built in the late third early fourth century and that means that for hundreds of years church buildings which many take for granted today hardly existed number two they're utilized that is they're used a lot the problem with church buildings is, is that so many stand empty for so large parts of the times and that is especially true when it comes to the auditoriums you know the place where there's a lot of benches and pews and, and people gather to pray I mean during a week that facility is empty for the large vast majority of the time and at night almost all church buildings are empty which is so tragic thinking about and in almost all countries I think in all countries actually uh, they are homeless people and since Christians are called to hospitality as I talked about in the key to angelic visitation video I think that we really need to convert church buildings into homes bringing in especially homeless people uh, to use these facilities number three House churches are small, which is a good thing. In the Western world today, the norm of a church is to have hundreds of members gathering in one place. But there's a huge problem, and that's that not everyone are actually involved in the service. 1 Corinthians 14, 26 says, When you come together, everyone has a hymn or a word of instruction, a revelation, a tongue or an interpretation. All of these must be done for the strengthening of the church. Now, I've never, ever been on a church meeting where this has been the case, where everyone shares something in a church with a multitude of people gathering in one place. In my own house church, where we're like 10, 15 people gathering, then it's possible and we actually do it. Everyone shares something. And this is why I think a small group in a house, because it, it becomes naturally small, it's hard to fit uh, more than 30 people into into one living room uh, that's really something very important that we need and number four they're missional they're evangelistic or at least they should be I know some house churches they never evangelize and I think that's really boring as you can tell from my last seven reasons video I think that all Christians are shared to, uh, are called to street evangelism and this is the model we see in Acts 2 verse 46 or when the apostolic church both met in the homes and in public places. This is the model my church Mosaic here in Uppsala, Sweden is working after and I think it's something that really needs to spread on. We both need to gather uh, internally in homes and externally out on the streets uh, to live out a, a biblical life. Number five, house churches are flexible. You know when a church building church, an auditorium church church you know what I mean. When they grow, they need to expand their building, either by just building more on the building or just um, selling the place and, and building a new building or buying a new building. And, and this is something that many churches spend so much time, energy and money on. And then when the congregation shrinks, they need to resize again and spend even more money. Now a house church, in contrast, when it grows, you suddenly have more houses to dispose because you have more people and, and then, then you can gather in more houses. If you shrink, if less people come to faith in Christ or people leave, um, then, then you just uh, meet in less houses. Number six, there are sheep. And this, this is a huge reason why I'm such a passionate um, proponent for the house church movement. About a year ago, I read in a Christian newspaper here in Sweden that a Pentecostal church they sold their church for uh, 4 million euros and then they bought a new one for 4 million euros. And, and then it really struck me because when we go through the economics of my house church, we naturally spend no money at all on a building. And that means that we can give more than 50% of what we collect to missions. I mean, the difference between a house church and uh, an auditorium church 
is massive when it comes to the economics part. And as Christians, we're called to simplicity. We're called to give as much as we can to the poor. And that should apply not just to our personal life, but to our church life as well. And finally, number seven, they're sufficient. You don't need church buildings. You don't need these huge, unflexible, expensive facilities. I mean, if, if the biblical church isn't evidence enough for you, look at the house church movement in India. Look at the house church movement in China. They're growing so fast, they experience so many miracles. People come to Christ, they help the poor, they're really living out the gospel. And some people say, yeah, house churches only work when there's persecution. But don't you realize that we're called to persecution? We're called to be so radical as to be persecuted by the government. That's not a reason to abandon this biblical practice. I see so many benefits with the simple church movement, the house church movement. And I really hope that more auditorium churches sell their building to transform into a house church movement. Because currently in the Western world, most house churches are church plants. They're new churches. But I want to see existing uh, churches using auditoriums that just sell that and go with the biblical stylist instead. So what do you think about the house church movement? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. God bless you abundantly. Peace, judge, judge of the Bible.